Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and Let's Play Black Desert Online Beta. This series is going to be covering the Tamer, the pet class. Uh, I do have some other series going on. Well, one right now, the Sorcerer, but I plan to do other classes as well. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'll be playing on the third server, CHO3, very well named. I uh, will be going with Bird, who is our uh, Tamer. Go ahead and get connected here. The character was actually, uh, I always, it's been a fun little tradition I've started doing recently, but where I have my, if I had to play like a female character for some reason, like uh, in this game, uh, certain classes are gender based, I will actually have her make one of the characters. It's kind of a fun little thing. Actually, I should ever make her male character too at some point. I'd like to see what she would come up with. I like the seasonal Santa Claus running away from the black spirit at the bottom right. That's, that's pretty nice. I always ask that even though it's already in full screen, but it's a beta. We're going to run into some issues here and there. So do prepare for that. Uh, I've already run into some bugs, but again, it's a uh, beta. So <laughs> it is expected to happen. I'm more familiar with how the combat works this time. So we'll be able to hop back and uh, we'll hop into the combat a little easier. Let me deal with the last class where I'm trying to learn all the controls and the combat and how everything works. There's still a lot of stuff that I'm learning about this game because there's there's a lot of moving parts. And because I think partially because it's like Korean based, they haven't quite got everything translated over. Some things aren't explained all that well. So uh, it's going to take some getting used to. I've considered making some side uh, side videos where I cover some of the more less uh, more unclear things uh, in more detail Also, I don't plan to read All the text but some of it I will read if I think it's it's important Don't you know where you are? No, you just entered me, you weird black spirit thing. Alright. So this is where it's just teaching you how to move. Obviously, you don't normally move this slow. We're we're a little bit disoriented. It's kind of telling you to get the basics. Letting me run a little bit faster. Don't forget, you and I are like one. Are we? I think in the full release, I think they do plan to have most, if not all, the NPCs voiced. So that's my understanding, at least. You woke up? Unbelievable. The important thing is that you woke up. You must have lots of questions. The big dude right there is looking at you. You'll listen to what he has to say. Okay. Alright. Let's go talk to this guy. This guy is a big dude. Who are you? You suddenly fell, but then you woke up. This is Olvia. Small town in Belenios territory. Right, let's go ahead and grab the next quest. It'll make you feel a little bit better. It's a. This is teaching us how to use a... Inventory items, so we're going to use a health potion. Easy quest, talk to this guy again. Uh, you're an adventurer, then you should see Chief Igor Bartali. I keep reading that as Chef. He likes talking to strangers, good luck. Okay, we're done with his quest, so we will escape on out of there. Auto run can be initiated by the T key. Now this is a pretty cool feature of this game. So I'm press T, and I will, and th this is the game controlling this. It will actually auto run to whatever your current like waypoint is, whether it's your quest or it's a map waypoint, whatever, it will actually automatically run there. Now, obviously you can still get attacked. It does look like the AI prefers to use roads, so it will actually go out of its way to use a road a lot of the times. So you tend to be safer on roads, but you probably don't want to, you know, do your laundry if you're out in a high level area. Don't worry, I used to travel when I was young. First, you should have confidence. Thought he was just an adventurer. He's actually a sort of a celebrity. Even Princess Jarrett of Heidel came to the town to meet him. You seem to have some stories. Why don't you go see Eden? All right, we shall. Now, this interface, 
this quest, if it's lit up, that means he is a new quest. Otherwise, if you click it, it'll just show you the quest that you already have. So let's go talk to this guy. Now, one thing that's a little confusing here that confused me at first is notice how she's got the question or the exclamation mark over her head. Normally, that means that they have like a quest. That doesn't necessarily mean that in this game. In fact, it doesn't mean that. It means you need to talk to that person in order to get knowledge about them. And we'll talk about that system in a little bit. But first, we can tell this guy has a quest because he's got the little icon over his head. Explorer Eden. The chief sent you? Well, I'm nothing special, just an explorer like you. They say everything that happens is because of fate. I mean, destiny. Someday we might meet again. If you're going to go further, see Bunt. He's a skill instructor. Okay. Let's go talk to the skill instructor. Oh, first we're going to talk to this weird black spirit. You can call me anytime by pressing the comma key. Now this little guy is going to pop up a little bit, or actually quite a bit throughout your adventure, so he'll give you a lot of various quests. Uh, are you sure you're ready? In my opinion, you're not prepared for the trip yet. The skill instructor here teaches adventurers more some useful skills. Why don't you see what that instructor has to say? I think I shall. You can do click to move, which is obviously what I'm doing now. I would not advise that you do. We're going to talk to her just to get knowledge on her. Now, knowledge is a very interesting aspect of this game, and I'm going to actually talk to a few of these guys just to get that little flag. I'm not going to do anything else. But knowledge is very interesting and very important aspect of this game. Knowledge covers people, activities, background, like lore and the story, things like that. So it is important aspect, and you tend to pick a lot of it up naturally. You can also gain knowledge on creatures. So when you first gain a creature, like first attack a goblin, for example, you know nothing of goblins. So you can't even see how many hit points it has. But as you fight more and more goblins, you gain more and more knowledge, including how much, how many hit points they have. Uh, but again, we'll, we'll see a lot of these things as we progress. You're from the far east. I have a companion who looks like you. That's why you seem familiar to me. The power of Hyling depends upon the summoner's power. Keep communicating with the beast. How about you start by learning a new move? I recognize you have a short sword. You now have to... You know how to tame Hyling, the divine beast, right? The whiplash guilt will strike fear into your enemy's heart. The vigilantes will protect Olivia. Okay, that's just him giving some basic stuff. Not enough knowledge to start a conversation. Well, again, we'll ignore that. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Try not to overwhelm with with too much stuff right now. Uh, so what did he want as the actual quest? Oh, learn it. All right, so let's talk to him again. You don't have to to talk to them to learn skills, but you but talk but using a skill trainer doesn't use energy when you learn a skill. Uh, again, energy is something that regenerates naturally over time that we'll talk about more. So let's look at Whiplash. When you hover over an, a a skill, it'll show you like a short video at the bottom, and it'll also show you what key combinations that you have to press. Obviously, it also tells you what it does. So in this case. Uh, it says, uh, Hai Lang will use its skills aggressively. Uh, down and right mouse button when mounted. I don't even know what that means, Hai Lang. I'm guessing that's our first little pet. I would imagine. Go ahead and close that out. Your shining eyes tell me a lot of things. A bright person easily absorbs any kind of knowledge. Comet, put your life at risk. At risk, try to attack a scarecrow. It will be... Different from actual fighting, but it'll help you learn. The basics are important. Are you ready? Over here, of course, it shows you your quest rewards. This will tell you like a summary of the quest. We're going to get experience and a combat skill point. So let's go ahead and close out of this. And this thing on the right showing us our key presses, don't worry about that. That will go away shortly. Learn the fundamentals. First, press the tab key, which puts us in the combat mode. And left click to switch or left click to switch between a combat and a non-combat stand. So we got that part. Left click or right click to attack. This is left click. See it's a little combo and we have a right click which is a kind of a bigger maybe area effect type ability. Sometimes the tutorials take a little while to go away. Maybe it wanted us to uh, attack the things. There we go. Press S plus right click to attack. So that's going to be a different attack. As you can see, it's a little bit of a different animation. Press F to perform a secondary attack. That gives us a kick, which is pretty universal. I think F is almost always kick. And again, you can see which keys I'm pressing on the right-hand side. 
I've considered keeping that up so that you guys can see which keys I'm pressing when I'm doing fights. I would be interested to hear your opinions on that. I don't know if I can resize it, it's a bit large. But let me know in, your, in the comments if you would actually like to see that. It feels like it would just get in the way after a while. So that's your style. Good job. There are some things that need to be polished, but I see your toughness. Okay, that's all we got from him, I believe. Uh, do we have any more skills we can learn? No, not yet, but we will get plenty of those soon enough. Here's our Black Spirit friend. You can trust me, of course I can. Hey, I know you're bored, you want to train yourself. There's noisy grass beetles in front of this town. They'd be perfect to help you warm up. All right, let's go kill beetles. It is an MMO, of course. And it wouldn't be a true MMO if our first kill quest wasn't to kill beetles or rats, or snakes or some other kind of pest. So you can see the creatures here, like when I'm kind of hovering over my targets, you can see that it's called a grass beetle and it's this quest objective. But you'll notice that <laughs> When I attack, it doesn't... Well, now it's showing the hit points. But I think I must have gained knowledge over it already. So it says, good job, you're a great partner. I have something to, to give you. Let's press the comma key. Are those too easy? Are there any stronger ones? Where and who are we? We do not have information for now. First of all, let's learn about the easiest guys. Uh, again, we can... We get, this is the rewards we're always going to get, at least for finishing this quest, which is skill XP in this case. And we can choose a uh, potion, health potion, or mana potion. We'll go ahead and get health potion to start with. Uh, see, now you understand weasels. Can you see how strong they are? Yeah, weasels are super scary. I must have killed some? No? Oh, I must have killed some weasels on accident. And learned about them as well, so I actually knocked both quests out. Interesting. You cannot understand your enemy with just one encounter. Since you know about weasels now, you understand their weaknesses. Attack some weasels again. You should be able to see when they're about to die. All right. So now we need to find the weasels. Parasitic bees. We don't need those, we need weasels. We can go ahead and again, we can press T and we will automatically run to the next area. Sorry if I'm trying, if I'm speaking a little bit quickly, I'm trying to cover a lot of the things that you're seeing, so you're not like, wait, what the hell is that? Like, what does this mean? So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pull back on the reins, I promise I don't do that all the time, uh, but I, I'm just, like I said, I'm trying to cover everything, I need, that's one of my bad habits. I'm like trying to cover every single thing that you're, you're seeing at the same time. But I'll, I'll start with the essentials, if you see something that doesn't make sense. It's probably because I just don't think it's that important yet, and I'll circle around. Obviously, you can also answer or answer questions. You can answer questions in the comments, but you can also ask questions. All right, let's cut off the auto run, and let's do some kicks. Oh, we have to go into to attack mode. You can right click again, as you can see. We do the kind of A attack, but you can see. Wait, actually, are we seeing their hit points? I think the one guy already wants to, yeah, I think we got enough. Typically, you're not going to get great creature knowledge this fast, but it's it's pretty fast to get the first level. Let's talk to this thing again. Does this have a name? I actually don't even know. It's troublesome to fight an enemy when you don't know its limit. If you want to know your enemy's limit, get more knowledge as you just did. I'll grab a mana potion. See those weird creatures with sleepy eyes? Aren't they good toys to play with? You can trust me. All right, I always read that when it kicks back out to the, the main area. Okay, we need to beat foxes. See, we're quickly moving up the the scale here. Wow, I'm actually lower on mana than I would expect. My uh, my sorceress, I didn't have any mana problems until like 15, and even then that was pushing it. Uh, also, there's stuff that you can gather, like in many MMOs, you can gather resources for various trade skills, like uh, alchemy or you know uh, herbalism. Or, well, this is herbalism, I guess. Uh, alchemy, leather smithing, or armor smithing, that kind of stuff. I haven't really got into the crafting yet, but um, yeah, I will. So let's right click, right click for the big attack, and then left click for the, the uh, faster attacks. You can also skin these foxes, but I don't have the I don't have the thing for it yet. We'll also talk about combos and all of those parts of combat as well at some point. Uh, 
All right. Oh, they didn't count. Oh, there's a weasel, not a fox. Jesus. Apparently, I need the knowledge because I'm here beating up weasels, thinking, ah, I'm not, I'm not getting credit for the foxes. One thing I do want to show you, I kind of talked about this a little bit earlier, where you can see the input. I don't think I can shrink it, unfortunately, unless I scale the entire UI. Uh, there definitely needs to be some work made on this, to be honest. Uh, let me put this, like, where the chat would be. I've got chat mostly hidden right now. Let's save it. Yeah, see, it's still very large. Uh, I'll keep it on for a little bit. You guys can tell me, you know, if you like it or not. I'm gonna guess no. Because it'll probably be just kind of annoying in the way. If I can shrink that... Let me ask you this. If I can kind of move this text box, because I can't remove it as far as I can tell. Actually, I can make it a little smaller, and I can shove it over there. Let's move it again. But I don't want it overlapping, right? <laughs> God, it's still taking up so much space. But I'll, I'll leave it like that for a while. You guys let me know what your opinion's on. Do you want to see it? Does it help? Again, right now it's not going to help because I only really have two major attacks. Like right click and then this. Later on it might be a little bit more useful. So let's talk to you again. What do you got? You're breathing, he breathing heavily. Are you okay? Are you tired already? Oh, I always do that. Every time. Are we weak? Because those beasts are staring at us. I hate that look. Let's kick their asses. I like this guy's attitude. But as you can tell, I'm using Waz. Uh, a few people have asked, is this game coming to consoles? Specifically Xbox One and uh, PS4. I've heard there is talk of it. There's not been any confirmation as far as I've seen. But I do know I've heard uh, them say that, that they're talking about it. Now, one thing you might have noticed here, if you're very astute, astuter than me, if that's even a way to say that, is whenever I like pick something, like grab an herb, I was kind of hoping to do it now. When I grab an herb, you'll see kind of an arm muscle gun show icon, like going down like that. That means I've used energy. Up here is our stats. We have skill points, energy, and contribution points. So energy is that resource I talked about where it comes back over time slowly. Certain things use energy and it's usually stuff that's not critical. For example, picking picking uh, herbs, uh, commu doing communication things. A lot of little stuff, side stuff takes takes mm. energy. And like I say, I think you get one energy point every three minutes right now. And if you run out, you just kind of have to wait for it to respawn. I totally ran by it, didn't I? You can also hit shift to run uh, until you run out of stamina. Man, my stamina bar is always overriding my health bar. Very annoying. But is this... Uh, uh, here we go. We know it's a quest objective because it says wolf. So before that, let's actually look at our skills real fast. Uh, whiplash which is just right mouse button. We've talked about that. Just does, um... Uh, high League, you will use it skills aggressively. I still don't know what High League is. I think that might mean the pet, which we don't have yet. Uh, Soaring Kick. This is just E. E. Really? Okay. Uh, see, Left Slash, that's... We've been doing that pretty normally here. Uh... Riding Helag. Oh, Helag, yes. Helag is like your later pet. We don't get that until like level 20, which is unfortunate. But, uh, let's see. Damage 120% times two hits, and it's an air attack. So it damages them while they're in the air. So let's... As you can see, I knocked them up with the E. And I'll look at my skills at some point off camera, so I can combo it a bit better. I'm just kind of showing you the basics. Now watch this when I do the kick. You're going to see a cooldown icon over to the kind of the left side there. Now that's how long we've got to the, the that ability cools down. Five seconds. However, well, I guess not in this case. Often you can still use an ability even though the cooldown is not up yet. However, if it has any secondary effects, you'll often not get the secondary effects. So for example, if a ability has a five second cooldown but it is a knock up, if I do that skill while the cooldown's still going, then I won't get the knockup. I'll just get the basic damage. Or maybe it does less damage. Things like that. So that's a pretty interesting system. It's like, well, if I just want the damage of that ability, then I'm good. Otherwise, it's uh, not going to be that great. Why are these foxes so... Uh, or not foxes. Why are these wolves so spread out? 
Let's check our map. Map is very interesting, to say the least. All right, let's go ahead and mark this. Just to show you, I can do this anywhere. I'm actually going to mark th that. Close that out of the map. Gather these herbs, of course. I can't not gather them. I accidentally press E once, of course. And we're going to auto-run. It's fairly good at the path fighting. Like I said, it does sometimes try a little too hard. Okay, here's, here's some foxes or wolves. Damn, I am not a ranger, apparently. Get it knocked up. Just a little bit too far away. But we'll, again, we'll talk more about combos and bonus damage and all that once we've got some of the basics down. But yeah, the pathfinding is actually fairly good. Sometimes you get stuck on like a a, a uh, like a fence, but uh, what are those red splatters on your clothes? Did they bite you? I'd do it again. They are kind people, but what could be the real purpose? Have you heard that? Imps have a smart... Imps here are smart enough to throw stones. Well, I don't know how it feels because I got no hands, as you can see. All right, so now we're gonna go kill imp soldiers. So I'm gonna head and press T, so we're on our way. But let's look at our skills. This one thing I really like about the auto run is I'll often look at my skills while we're 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 running. So again, we have the le the leaf slash, and it's a basic ability. It's 112 damage. Does it give mana back or anything? No, it does not. Uh, standing combo has four attacks. Forward combo has five attacks. Now, what forward combo means, if I remember correctly, is when you're running forward, sometimes abilities have different, um, like different properties. So let's try it running forward. I don't know if I have to sprint forward or if just run. Let's try it just running. Yeah, see that was five. One, two, three, four. See that one was four, but if I'm running forward, that one has five. So that knock, that fifth one also has a knockdown. Or that fifth hit has a knockdown, which is good. We'll look at our, some of our other possible combos again in a second. That little beam showing the waypoint always throws me off. We are looking for soldiers specifically. Ah, here we go. We also have, I think all classes have a dodge as far as I can tell. Knock him up in the air because he's doing too much damage to us. Got to remember to run up a little bit when I do that, too. All right. And I just came off of playing a sorceress. So I'm still kind of got sorceress in my head. Also, if it's not uh, already apparent, uh, the red names typically mean they'll attack you just on their own. At least that's what I thought. But these guys aren't really attacking. Hmm. Also, there's supposed to be a hotbar for abilities. However, I've actually ran into a bug where it's off screen and I can't move it back. Yeah, if somebody knows how to fix that, I would definitely be uh, willing to listen to how that how to do that. But let's talk to our spirit friend here. Just listen to me. You'll get stronger. Yeah. Sure, why wouldn't I trust the smoky black beady eyed thing stuck inside my body? I know you can beat stronger guys down, right? You know you can... Wait, I know you can beat stronger guys down, right? You keep exalting yourself. You're the strongest. Take away the imps' equipment and destroy them. Take away their power, okay? Okay. Yeah. Couldn't help myself. I had to do it a little bit. I had to steal their clothes. That sounds pretty messed up. We know this guy's a quest objective, so we will do that. Let's knock him up. Ah, so now we get new skills. All right, so the first things first, I'm going to move that. Now, see that thing to the right of me? It's trying to give you helpful things. Because the because there's so many key combinations in this game, as you will find out for attacks, uh, it is kind of nice to have that early on. However, you're going to find that it can be a little bit annoying. We're going to try that moving forward plus right-click thing. We're going to knock him up. Again, knocking them down has the, got the obvious benefit of making it so, you know, they can't hurt you while they're on the ground. But also, some abilities do extra damage. 
based on the status effect of the of the enemy. So for example, if a attack says ground attack, that means it does extra damage to an enemy on the ground. I'm gonna try to wait on looking at our specific skills while we're you know running from base to base. So that we're not so that we basically at least definitely start off with doing a lot of murdering. Anyway, as I was saying before, that little screen to the right where it shows you, like, your different uh, abilities. I'm gonna turn that off here sh shortly, just because it does get annoying fairly quickly. But it is useful if you're, like, just playing the game uh, or brand new to a class. Uh, it's good to, to show, because even starting off, you tend to have a lot of abilities. I see, and in fact, I think running up and pressing E was an even a different animation than normal. All right, what do we need? We close. Oh, yeah, we need you. Nope. I'm going to try that again. Hold on, Imp. Don't attack me yet. All right, so shift and E does not do anything. Do we run up and do our five attack combo? Nice, got a helmet. Right, we need these guys. Now, typically, you're going to want to, once you get, you know, more abilities, more uh, more familiar with the combat, you're going to want to be fighting more enemies than, more enemies than one at a time, because it's just far more efficient. Because you tend to, as you can see, you tend to kind of swing in front of you and attack multiple enemies at once. And one enemy is generally, at least from my experience so far, is not going to be a challenge to you. So it's best just to get a bunch of them at once. Alright, let's go with... Uh. Nice. Hit them both with a five-hit combo. Alright, and got them dead. Nice. Alright, let's go back to the road. I don't know if you could be attacked while you're talking to the, the Black Spirit. I just out of habit and out of many Skyrim and Fallout type games being a uh, sick <laughs> hate being attacked while I'm trying to do a quest so anyway let's talk to him you killed pretty much all the imps by the way how much how would it feel I mean dying there must be a power source for the imps around here like my black power the imps are bound to something first of all you should be able to adapt to the current situation let's do some warm-ups all right. So again, I, as I mentioned, I'm not going to read all the quests, but these earlier ones, you know, kind of give you some useful information. Here, not so much, but at least with all his quests, I'll probably read all of his stuff. Destroy imp amulets. Okay. Let's see who's got the amulets. Oh, I think it's... I think some of these things are called the amulets. Yeah, these things with the skulls. Oops, first. Let's grab these herbs. I've never done trade skilling, but yet I'm still like, I have to grab all the herbs. You'll notice, too, we don't even see the hit points on the amulet. Like, you have to gain the knowledge on those as well. As you can see, we also got another level. We'll look at that in a second. Let's go ahead and finish these guys off. Knock him up. As you can see, we knocked all three of those guys back. Very useful for groups. As you can imagine, as we get to where we actually fight tougher and tougher enemies, we want them on the ground. Ooh, we got a sword. Let me get out of the way here again. They've not really been attacking us, so I don't really need to get out of the way. Uh, so this increases our AP or attack power, so we'll definitely get that. We also got a chest from another quest. Let's open that up. And, uh, actually gave us another sword, but it's actually worse than what we had. Let's just talk to the Black Spirit. Hello. So the Imp's power source is what the humans call their home. Well, yeah, I did have a home, but the memory is very dim and unclear now. Well, it's been a long time. What are they called? Why are they called the Steel Imps? Are they stronger than the normal ones? How about you call yourself Steel Bird? I kind of like that. That would work. All right, so now we need to head over here. We need to kill these steel imps, which I'm sure are made out of actual steel. That would be pretty nice. All right, so let's talk about levels and skills. Levels and skills are not necessarily tied directly, but there is some interdependence here. Skill points you gain 
generally, oh, you see we got hung up here. If I just hit jump, she'll go through. So, uh, they are dependent on each other in a way. Skill points you gain generally from killing things. So if you just go grind, you can get skill points. And I don't think there's a skill point cap at all, but it takes longer and longer to get them, I believe. So you still have to be pretty smart with how you spend them. And then some skills have level requirements, so you can't necessarily get all the skills until you've leveled up. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so we need to kill this guy, this steel imp. Oh, they're together too. It's kind of funny how the first hit seems to... Oh, see, now that was a down attack. All right, so that's a down attack. And it says it in the description, and I probably just missed it. That's important to note. Let's go find another one, and I'll kind of show you what I mean with the whole down attack and combos thing. So first, we're going to knock these guys... Actually, we're going to hit them, so they all kind of attack me. Actually, maybe we should not have done that. But you can see we're getting that big message that says down attack. That means we're doing extra damage to them because they're down. Not because they're... You don't get bonus damage just because they're down. You get bonus damage because they're down and you use an attack which gets bonus damage on a down attack. There's other variants too. Like sometimes you can knock enemies up and there's abilities that do extra damage when an enemy is up in the air, uh, stunned, things like that. So I think, think that probably is uh, fairly clear how that works. So now that we know that that works, we are going to be using that a lot. We got to be careful because this character definitely dies a lot faster than what I'm used to. So let's go up. You also do get uh, back attack bonuses. Now notice how quickly she dominated them when those back attacks, or not back attacks, sorry. When those down attacks are triggering. She melts their health. That's why it's so important to know to know what skills benefit from certain uh, status effects, like being knocked down, being stunned, knocked in the air, things like that, and which which of your skills cause them. I'm going to just do these guys again just because it, it's fun. Boom! Completely destroyed. Oh, we got some rebar armor. Let's go ahead and kill this guy, because we need him for a quest. Roundhouse kick. Hit the wrong button. Again, melting that health, and these guys are a little bit tougher. Now, let's just say, now, notice I'm just left-clicking now. Notice he, his health, like, just barely dropped, right? So just to kind of show, that, just to try the point home real quick. I'm just gonna left-click this guy. Not too bad, but, eh, he died pretty slow. And I accidentally used that knock of ability. So this is the same type of enemy. Steel Imp, we're gonna wait for our cooldown to come up. We're gonna knock him down. Much, much faster. And again, you can see where that would be very, very useful in a group. Sorry if I'm kind of driving that point home a little bit too much, but I wanted to make sure I was clear on how important combos are in this combat system. Wow, I thought they were actually a tough as steel, but no, they were way too easy. Sorry, let's not put the steel thing in your name. You see that pile of stones? The tower-like thing belongs to the steel imps. It's interrupting our battle against them. Let's topple that tower. Okie doke. Let's do that. It's funny how much faster I'm going through this than on my first character because I was trying to figure everything out. Okay, this is the defense tower. I don't really see how it was... It was affecting us while that... One ability that had no effect at all. Nice. Talk to him again. Well done. Nothing can stop us. Hey, I found some barracks thing. Do you need something? Maybe they got some stuff we need. Why don't we go there and look for something useful? Okay. Again, go ahead and auto run my way over there. And we'll look at our skills in the meantime. So, as I mentioned before, you get skill points from actually fighting, and levels you just get from doing quests, killing enemies, things of that nature. So, and I think, I don't think there's actually a max level. I think once you get to hit, hit 50, it takes a lot more experience to level, but I think you can keep going. Same with skill points. So, let's look at the skills we have. Again, real quick, with the left click, this is just our standard basic attack. 
Uh, soaring kick is E. That's the knockup. It's 120% in two hits. And it is an air attack. So if they're already in the air, it does bonus damage. But if you look below that, it says inflicts floating on a successful hit with a max of four targets. Uh, let's see what else do we have. We have a flurry of kicks. Perform a series of spiral kicks that spin an enemy around. Uh, that's useful because it gives you back attacks. As you can see from the little animation, it turns the enemy around. So now you do back attacks. And I think everybody gets a little bit of bonus damage from back attacks regardless, I think. Uh, and that's hold F. Oh, okay. That could be pretty handy. All right. So we're here. What are we looking for? Oh, we're looking for you, uh, Jamie. Stay away from your sister, son. Do I look tired? I'm tired. The imps are he around here bother me day and night. Can you talk to me again? Sure. Sorry, we're busy now. Are you here to see the captain? If you want to see him, go to Officer Fianna first. Okay. Ah, oh, there was another quest, I guess, that I didn't really read. Alright. Let's see what this little guy wants. Can you hear that? I sense a strong aura from the south. Maybe something good will happen, or maybe something really, really bad. Who knows, right? You don't have to go there, though, so think carefully. All right, so here's where it starts to open up a little bit. You get more quests. Uh, first of all, though, I'm going to turn that off. It's very easy to do. Let's go to Edit UI, click the little eyeball, and it goes off. Uh, and I'm going to turn this off for the time being. Again, I might save it or uh, turn it back on once I've got the combat more like in my head. I, that way, you can guys can kind of see what patterns I'm doing and how combat will work. All right, so as you can see in the mini map. You can only see what you're looking at, like only shows up on the minimap, which is a bit weird. Uh, I find that I could see it working with NPCs, like enemies, but with just regular enemies, it's just kind of, or uh, NPCs in town, it's a little weird, but whatever. The different icons mean different things. If you look at the minimap, you see it's an exclamation mark, and of course, he has that icon above his head, so we know he's a quest giver, so let's talk to him. Looks like he wants us to do something with wolves. Captain might listen to me. Uh, rookie, you want a job? There's lots of gray wolves around the camp. Uh, there's just too many monsters to deal with. Do you want to kill wolves? Yes, we definitely want to do this because this gives us, uh, this expands our inventory a little bit. Uh, the icon with the little chat thing just means you can talk to them. Uh, it also, I think, generally means that they have some, like, you. if you talk to them, it adds them to your, your knowledge uh, book. So, first actually, let's talk to this guy. I don't remember this guy having made a quest before. Can you believe this? Its skin itself is armor. Our spears might be, well as well, be rubber toys. I want to say we caught it, but actually we just got here after it collapsed. Turns out it's been chased by the tree spirits. Those ferocious tree spirits would chase us, I'm sure. But look at the physique and strength. If that iron chain, brain, iron chain breaks somehow. Hey, isn't that a horrible thought? I think I'll have to write a will in advance. So sometimes you'll talk to these guys and they won't give you quests. This kind of, he did. He totally did. I don't think I ever talked to this guy before. But you see we got some contribution points. Uh, that's something else I'll talk about later, but in a nutshell, because it's not something I frankly don't understand that well. But in a nutshell, you can spin those to like rent items, like special items. You can also use it to invest in areas so you get better loot drops. It's, it's again, it's a very interesting mechanic that I'll talk about a little bit later. So let's talk to Fienna. Now we have too many patients here. Oh, we gotta use our thing. Are oh, you here for Commander Cliff? He's a large. He's in the largest tents. Okay, something about manners. Who knows? All right, that one's in progress. Oh, the Black Spirit wants to speak with me again. I always want to read that part. Enjoy your hunting. Add some excitement to your moves. Oh, what is this? Ah. I think he gave us a skill, I believe. I missed what he gave us. Gave us recommended bolt weave. Ah, right, it's telling us, I guess, what it thinks we should get. But, um, yeah, there, as you can see, there's a ton of skills that you can get. And again, you cannot really, well, I guess technically you can get them all, but it would take a lot of grinding. Typically, though, it goes from left to right. So, like, you can see these skills I can't even get until I get higher level, higher than 22, higher than 26, higher than 35, etc. 
So that makes it a little bit easier to digest. Uh, the only difference is under this section called Other, this tends to be things that maybe not directly related to doing combat, like giving yourself buffs, uh, offensive and defensive buffs, things of that nature. Uh, so I'm actually going to wait on picking up a skill. I wanted to at least get started uh, or maybe kill some more stuff for one more quest. Uh, let's go talk over here. Again, I want to talk to this guy just to get the knowledge. And you can tell when you get knowledge when I talk to them. This little icon pops up. Uh, you also want to increase your knowledge because it gives you things like energy. Which again, energy is that, uh, that stat you use for things like mining and gathering resources, things of that nature. So let's talk to this guy. Welcome to the Western Camp. Looks like he's got two different uh, two different quests. I guess you have. I guess you went through a lot on your way here. Have you checked out the Imp Cave? Then you have only one thing left to do: try investing your contribution points in the Western Guard Camp. All right. So let's let's talk about this very quickly. The contribution points you get from doing quests, mainly there's repeatable quests, things like that, uh, and. I don't think you ever spend them, spend them like they're gone forever. So I can rent these shoes, but then bring them back, and I think you get your contribution points back. So this is how Adamantal works. If um, You just basically give them contribution points, you get the item as long as you want it, and then you can bring it back for your points back. Uh, here, we can hover over the item. It says, cannot be enhanced, uh, bound, blah, blah, blah. Description, shoes borrowed from Cliff. Blah, blah, blah. They will be returned, blah, blah, blah. So this increases your stamina by 100, which is pretty nice. Uh, but I don't want to spend them on that right now. So, I haven't actually done this yet, so I want to see if it'll let me actually do it. I'm going to click on the Western Guard Camp. And can I... The preceding node needs to be connected before you can invest. Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. When it starts talking about nodes, like, oh, you have to connect this other node first. It's like, well, how, like, why? How do I have to do that? Or how and why? All right, so it looks like I would need to invest energy in this first, in Velia, and then it would connect over to here, and then I could invest here. Uh, and I, it feels a little deeper than I really want to get right now. But again, generally what investing does is it increases the drop rate of items uh, in that area. So if you're going to be farming in an area for a, uh, for a while, then uh, then you'll want that. Why can't I hover over that and have it tell me what it is? I don't know. Great power must be wielded moderately. I don't know if I agree with that. All right. Oh, we got a new the new healing scratch. Some skills you can only learn from quests. So you, regardless, you're probably going to want to do quests. I just want to see what that new new one is. Slash, ha ha ha! Slice multiple enemies with a single slash. Down plus left mouse button. That's good for getting into combat quickly. Actually, it might be over here. Nope. Go away. Where are you? I'm probably skipping over it. Evasive attack. Again, we, we will go over these skills more in depth, but I wanted to give you guys a more uh, quick thing. Was this it? I thought I said healing something. If I don't see it here, oh, here we, lightning of now. Maybe that's what was a heat lang thing. Anyway, so now we down, we are down to two quests. Uh, we've been going like forty minutes. Uh, let's go see what. Let's see how far away those quests are. One's at two thirty, which you can see that here. One's at one twenty. Let's just go ahead and go over there. And control brings up the cursor, so control either like switches it to mouse look or control brings up the cursor. This way you can do things like click on your quest, stuff like that. You'll also notice that there's collision. So when I run into a guard or another player, you do that kind of like knock thing. Oops, stop, let's talk to this guy. We didn't get knowledge for that guy. Oh, I think we talked to him? No, we did not talk to him before. I don't know. Anyway, we'll press T. For some reason, whenever you talk to NPCs, it puts you in the combat mode. I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's a... That's a mistake. All right, so we're gonna do the hold back and sh that <laughs> brought us up. Gonna use this to do the knockdown attack. I thought the 
kick did that too. Oh well, guess not. Get him in the air. There we go. Yeah, we actually got really low on health, man. If I knew what bar my health was on, I would totally, totally switch. I would, I would use it. You can always go in here, though. That's what I ended up having to do on my other character, was go into the inventory. But I promise you, there is a hot bar. I promise. Alright, let's go turn this quest in real quick. Normally I wouldn't, you know, I would wait until we were really ready to do so, but... You can also hold shift while you're auto-running, and it will take you, you know, she'll... She'll run. Down here you can see the stamina. I think we have a hundred stamina. Yeah, so if we got a hundred more... That, I don't think that's... I don't know if it's stamina or percentage. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Let's turn this quest in. Alright, so we got an inventory expansion slot and recover two energy. So yeah, doing quests will sometimes give you energy. So, generally... I'm not gonna, you know, bother doing it now. But generally you want to make sure you're out of energy again, energy being up here. So, it didn't really help me a lot, because I think I was already at max energy. So, it wasn't all that useful. Uh, some quests will give you these things, inventory expansions. Uh, this is your inventory, available inventory space. Here is all locked. You can right click on that, and boom! It opened up an inventory slot. I've had a few quests that give us those so far. So we're gonna put this armor on that we got a while back that I forgot about. And you'll notice it didn't really change our looks. I feel like there's... There's like... And this is kind of a trend with Asian MMOs recently that I like, actually. Where you have armor, but then you have your costume. And the costume is more important, or is what shows you, is what shows. This way you can look however you want, but... Um, but you still get the stats, if that makes sense. Excuse me, that way you don't get like these high level armor that looks like that you think looks bad. So let's open this chest. As we kind of wrap up here, what do we get? Oh, we got a trinket. Increases our AP by one. Right click to equip that. Earring, we're not wearing one, so we definitely want to put that in. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure how the costuming stuff type quite works. Some items do change the way you look, though, because I have gotten a chest piece on my other character, which which showed up visibly. So, again, I'm not quite sure the rules of that. I'm myself learning a lot about this as I go. But uh, so far, I've quite enjoyed it. But I'm actually going to draw it to a close here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other requests for classes that you would like me to try to cover, then let me know. Now, this beta ends on Wednesday, December the 23rd. So I don't have much more time to play for this beta. I don't know when the next one starts. So uh, this will probably be this and the Sorceress playthrough are the only ones that I'll probably be able to do during this beta. But if anyone has any other requests, Archer is on my list as well. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you're thinking of this series so far. Make sure to check out the other Black Desert Online uh, uh, videos. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time.